Hi, this is Shedi, and we finally have it, and that is the childhood of Joshiro Maruyama himself. So, this is according to Joshiro himself in an interview done and reported by the magazine called L'Esprit du Judo, which means the spirit of judo. And it was, I believe, a day after the Osaka Grand Slam, he talked and opened up about everything that's going on in his mind and his childhood and uh, it really sheds a lot of light on what kind of person he is and why he does what he's doing. Um, Joshiro is very similar to a lot of people I've discussed like Kron Gracie and Kosei Inoue and we're gonna see uh, why and also I have far more admiration and respect for him after I read this uh, article that discusses basically everything so um, we start with his childhood he said you see here the big font uh, up it says j'ai détesté mon enfance meaning i hated my childhood and also in the square in the middle it says that i still have confidence issues so it really shows what kind of person he is so he started judo just at the age of three i already talked about his father being an olympian and also uh, one of a, a top tier judoka in japan um, he said that the club that his father owned and taught in was in the house of the maruyama family he said that he and his family lived in the fourth floor while the dojo was in the third floor he said before the age of three he would go in he would play on the tatami it was all fun and games but from the age of three onwards it became very serious his father was very strict he constantly had to uh, live up to his father's expectations uh, going to the olympics uh, etc and he talked about his older brother goki being also a judoka and inspiring him to choose the university of ten so you can tell that Joshiro has a lot of family values from honoring his uh, parents wishes uh, his older brother and, uh, and trying to make them proud and constantly work on himself even though it was very strict and for him it was kind of like a nightmare to do judo he didn't like it he said that the first time he wore the judo gi at the age of three years old he didn't know what was happening why was it and when it came time to start he said that it was already too late um, because of the strict form of his father he said that um, judo became a very detestable activity for him till this day he still has a lot of anxiety and uh, nervousness no matter the competition because uh, first he doesn't have too much confidence in, in himself he says that that might be a good thing uh, to a certain point because it doesn't make you comfortable or uh, at the same time it humbles you but also it makes your life very difficult so he talked also about the uchimata he said that uh, the uchimata was the first thing I learned uh, by my dad and my older brother Goki and we t learned it in a bas very basic form and my dad said that from there on you have to add your own touch and your own signature on it he also said that he worked on the whole system and combination which became which became the three uh, techniques excuse me uh, the uchimata yokotomo enage and the sode tsurikomi goshi so uh, he also talked about his knee injury which is particularly ligaments not meniscus or anything else and he said that his knee was always a problem even back in uh, middle school way before the 2013 incident but the 2013 incident was kind of like a climax because i already reported on this in another video and showed where the incident where the injury or the incident happened um, so he also mentioned something that uh, made me a little bit uh sad so to say um, please excuse my voice I'm currently very ill but uh, I'm trying to report on this because I think it's a very important story he said that um, 
he dreams about the Olympics every single day and after it happened, what happened in Osaka, which prevented him from qualifying because if he had won the finals against Abe, he would have already qualified. So he said uh, that he constantly thinks about it every day. Um, he is the world champion. However, um, it's a championship that his father, Kenji, never participated in. Um, but he did make it to the Olympics and he still feels like he did not uh, make his father proud uh, enough. And that actually, uh, you know, it's a reading stuff like this, you know, from a world champion, someone who is very humble, very uh, hardworking, like Joshiro with his work ethic uh, and also flaw flawless and fluent technique to say something like, I still haven't made my father proud. It shows the severity and the strict uh, pressure he was under f f from very early on the age of three years old and till this day it still very much affects his life and the way he looks at judo and the way he looks at his own uh, performance so i always talked about in a way and Cron gracie having you know samurai mindset family values going all out till the end in what you're doing and also honoring your family but uh, this is a little bit too much I think that uh, you know I suffered family pressure too and it's not a very nice feeling it's still till this day you know it never goes away basically but uh, I know pretty much how he feels and honestly judo for me is like an escape from whatever like, anything i had going on in my life but for him it's you know the first thing he woke up to and the only and biggest pressure he's under the whole entire time and he says that you know one of the things that makes him uh, really feel good or just thinking about it makes him feel good is that uh, his beautiful wife and how much he loves her um, that also makes it less but for him making his father proud and going to the Olympics is everything for him because up until this point he feels like he had never did enough to please or honor his father so I truly admire a man like Joshiro for these family values and also his work ethic um, it, someone with you know lack of confidence and also not liking what he's doing and doing it all out there's nothing more to appreciate than this so I really hope uh, you know you found this very insightful and helpful this was according to uh, the spirit of judo the magazine and also he talked about Hifumi Abe he says that whenever he's on TV I just change the channel or turn off the television so you can see how much that last loss really got to him and also uh, his confidence issues still stem in these little things like seeing Abe on television so but also uh, Abe on the rise back in the years of 2015 16 17 really motivated him to work even harder so uh, not he has confidence issues but also he keeps you know he uses these obstacles and anxieties as motive to keep working harder and more and look he is world champion and he dethroned Abe because he eliminated him in the semifinals, no one else. So, like I said, I truly admire him. And this interview really shed a lot of light on what kind of person he is. So, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. I apologize for my voice. I'm very ill at the moment. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.